All right, uh, this is very quick, just showing you, you know, home chargers or EV support equipment, whatever you want to call it. They're not really a charger, blah, blah, blah. I know they just provide the electricity, but whatever. People are going to still call them chargers. So uh, you just bought an EV and you don't want to use the trickle cord. You know, I think you really need to have uh, a charger probably a charger for each car just because now uh, you know what I want to go through with people is what you should do and that is not spend a lot of money on one of these so I, I don't know anything about the code here this is only temporarily installed so uh, I welcome your comments however it will be moved once we find the, the permanent place I'm just trying it out so right now we've got one of the leaves uh, plugged in outside and this will just go under the door I may or may not permanently punch it through the wall, we'll see. But I picked up this, this is a GE Watt station, I believe. Very bare bones, 300 bucks. Uh, you have to drill your own hole in the box. Uh, and it, you know, it does everything it needs to. You can adjust it for um, up to 30 amps and that's how it comes. So you'll need, you know, minimum 14.3 wire based on your, on your distance to your breaker panel and then you know, per code what you need to have for your breakers and everything. And it works fine. You know, it's well over 20 miles an hour pumping into the leaf. Um, and then, ignore the disaster garage right now. It's winter pack up time. Uh, and this one's temporarily installed till we get a, till we find out what we want to do for sure. Because it's just turning into winter time where we're going to have our, uh, you know, two leaves behind each other because we've got the other the other stall of the garage is taken up with the boat for the winter but uh we'll figure these out and get them permanently mounted this one i had an old uh nema 60 plug uh, that was used for a welder don't need it anymore so i just bought one that was already wired so you just plug it in uh, this is the siemens station and this is like a 600 dollars one or 499 or something uh, the moral of this story is don't waste your money on this unless they actually activate it is going to have Wi-Fi which will be nice to track how much power you're using and whatnot but you really don't need it um, this one does the same it's a 30 amp pool and you know that over 20 miles an hour to the car so it's about three three and a half hours to fully charge you know the standard leaf I know the 16's have the the 30 kilowatt hour battery which may take a little longer or maybe they can use more of the 6.6 K charger and, and charge it quicker. Not sure how that's going to turn out. Maybe lower resistance, but, uh, very easy to install. I don't think you need anything more than this. It's been working fine for a week now and, uh, we'll see how it goes through the winter.